Hi everybody, welcome to Say Rugby Magazine. I've got Mark Yohane with me. Mark, welcome. Thanks, Gib. Uh, let's get into it. We've got two games, Lions, Cheetahs, and, no, Sharks, Lions, Sharks, and Cheetahs, Pumas. What's your thoughts? Well, the big one in the context of the of, of the Curry Cup is with the Bulls being cancelled against Greek was sharing the points to all. Yeah. This gives the Sharks the opportunity to really close the gap mm. on the Bulls. And the, the top two teams at the moment are the Sharks and the Bulls. And the, com the competition plays out to the expected 23rd of January final. Home ground advantage is going to be everything. So this is a game that I think the Sharks will see as defining to their campaign. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I don't see them winning. Why do you say that? Because I do see them winning. And I was right. I think I got a pick. You did pick them to beat the Bulls. Against you. Oh. I think you and James had got the Bulls to beat them by 10 and 15. No, I had 12. James had a, just a comfortable 20. 20. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, James. <laughs> 20. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, so yeah, I, I think at home, mm -hmm. they've, I've. I felt the Lions to be a team that's building slowly, mm. a lot of good youngsters. They've impressed me, especially playing at Ellis Park. Mm. And um, a good win against the, the Western Province side. Yeah. Uh, they pushed the Bulls for a good 75 minutes uh, when they played um, at Ellis Park. The match against the Sharks, I know it was the first one up in, uh, they had the Sharks on the rack. They were pushing for that win in the last minute mm -hmm. at 22 19. I think they were 19 16 the score was. So there was a three points in it. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that they will shade it by seven points. And traditionally, the Sharks have also struggled when they've gone to Ellis Park. So uh, the altitude, it gets to them. Yeah. See, I, I like the Sharks because I think that they're on, on, a, on a good, uh, they've got a good uh, momentum behind them. I've liked them. But, uh, they, they outperformed every, uh, all our expectations for the. Um, for the Super Rugby competition, um, I mean the the, the, first, the start of the Super Rugby competition. You've got um, oh, Kerwin Bosch playing wonderful football. Yeah. Maybe even has earned himself a, a Springbok call up, or should have a Springbok call up because his kicking has been fantastic uh, at goal and for position. So I just like the I think the Sharks gonna, uh, are going to win this game because I, I don't I haven't seen enough from the Lions to convince me this year. So I will be betting on the Sharks. Bookies really can't separate it. You can actually get better than better than even money odds on the Sharks. So I'm putting the Sharks down for 500 to win back 520. Um, then we've got the Cheetahs versus the Pumas. Um, what do you say there? I think Cheetahs will win just because they're a better side, but a high scoring game and not a hell of a lot in it. Well, what do you think? <sighs> 10 points. Yeah, see, I think the Cheetahs will win by Bet, bookies have them at eight and a half. I'll be also betting. I like the cheetahs in this game to win by nine or more. So I, I agree with you on that. Yeah, and then I've, as we said, the big one that's going to have such an effect is the one that should have happened in Kimberley. Yeah. Bulls against uh, Greek was called off because most of the Bulls players and management infected with COVID. And uh, yeah, and they hope that were they at the range. I don't know where they were. Yeah. I can't imagine Jake letting them go to the Rage there. No. Maybe Jake's Rage after they lost <laughs> the thirty-two yeah. twenty-nine to the Sharks, but. Um, yeah, I mean, we just hope that this game goes ahead. We've had it in the past. On the Saturday morning, the Ellis Park game was called off against the Cheetahs yeah. and, and the Lions. And then what's going to happen in the next two weeks? Will there be rugby? I mean, cricket, the four-day competition has been, has been put on hold at the moment because so many players are testing positive in the various, uh, in the various uh, franchises. Yeah. So, yeah, but just uh, we, we also spoke about it in, in, in our other offering. Exeter against Toulouse, Champions, uh, Champions Rugby, a European Champions Rugby. That's been called off this weekend because of COVID. So I think we're going to see a lot of this over the next th three weeks, especially with the much talked about second wave in South Africa. What uh, are you, when the vaccine comes, are you going to take one? You bet you I'm going to take one. Even if you grow a horn and become a unicorn? Then I'm definitely taking one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look, it, I know it's been a tough year for you guys out there and, and uh, thoughts and prayers out to everybody that struggled this year and, um, and we'll see you next year. Thanks. Thanks.